Hi! It's Sylvia here with Vintage Kitchen Vixen where I share tips for simple living, creating memorable gatherings, and preparing wholesome and traditional recipes with a vintage twist. And today I am going to be showing you how to make a recipe for Victory Borscht. Now this recipe was drawn and adapted from the Victory Cookbook by Marguerite Patton. Marguerite Patton, she worked for the Ministry of Food during the Second World War in, um, in Britain. And this book has so much information about cooking during the Second World War and cooking on rations nonetheless because that's kind of how they did things. <laughs> Just reading about rationing and what people had to live off of is kind of crazy and fascinating. There's so much creativity and it's super inspiring whenever I dig into historical food tidbits like that. And that book is full of them. So whenever I make soup, I always saute my onions and my vegetables before adding broth. In this recipe, there is none of that. You just put all of your vegetables in the pot with the broth and you simmer it for an hour and a half. It's really easy. And I mean, I think the reason behind that is because they didn't have that fat ration to them. Their butter was scarce and I don't even know about olive oil, but they were saving drippings from all of their meat and cooking with that. And so whenever there was an opportunity to not cook with fat, it was seized. Also, the women worked long days, so when they got home, they also had to cook their meals for their families and keep them fed. So recipes that were easy to make and didn't have a lot of steps were preferred. We're currently going into the colder months and I love a hot bowl of soup, so I'm excited to have this batch ready and waiting for me. It freezes really well, uh, so if you want, you can make a larger batch and put it away for a day where you don't know what you're making for the week or you just you know you have a busy day ahead of you you can just pull it from the freezer and enjoy it. I like serving it with a dollop of sour cream and a slice of crusty sourdough loaf that has a little bit of butter on it. Um, but soups I find are subjective. You can follow my recipe but I suggest you make it your own and when When you're making anything, whether it's my recipe or somebody else's, always taste and always season and adjust to your own taste buds. My taste buds are different from yours. You need to taste as you go and adjust the seasonings based on your preferences. Uh, one other thing, don't over salt at the beginning. You can salt a little bit, so this is just starting, but salt a little bit. Don't over salt it because as the flavors meld and have time to sink in and develop their flavor, you don't want to have something that's over salty. It's always easier to add more salt than to fix a dish that is over salted. So this is almost out of summer. And what it is, it's going to get an hour and a half. If you like what you see today, I hope you like this video. Leave a comment and share with somebody who likes soup or vintage recipes. So that's it for me for now. Let's hop on to it.
thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you always uh, get notified when new videos come out. I post new videos twice a week and you can always print my recipes over on the blog. There is a link below to take you to this post. If you are coming back to my channel from before, welcome back. I'm so glad to have you here. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share with somebody who likes soup or vintage recipes, and if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. That's it for me today, so I'm going to say goodbye. She worked for the Ministry of Food during the Second World War.